America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing everyday life at George Washington's Mount Vernon. George Washington married Martha Dandridge Custis, a wealthy 26-year-old widow, on January 6, 1759. They were a couple well suited for each other and made their home at Mount Vernon. Over the course of many years, the Washingtons expanded their modest home into an 11,000 square foot mansion. George managed the estate with his customary zeal and energy. He rose early every morning and worked the land six days a week, leaving Sunday for church and entertaining friends. Washington was a successful and innovative farmer, experimenting with livestock breeding and crop rotation. One of his goals was to make Mount Vernon self-sufficient and profitable. To this end, George built his own water-powered gristmill, a fishery on the Potomac, and one of the largest distilleries in the country, with an output of 11,000 gallons of whiskey per year. As was typical on plantations, enslaved people performed most of the work at Mount Vernon. When Washington died in 1799, there were 317 slaves on the estate. Most were field workers, but others were taught trades such as blacksmithing and some served in the house. Field hands received a new suit of clothes and a pair of shoes each year. The typical slave quarter was a log dwelling about 225 square feet and housed six to eight people with a small vegetable garden to supplement the slave's standard diet of cornbread and salted fish. Washington was opposed to the institution of slavery, but did not free his slaves while he was alive. However, he did grant them their freedom in his will, the only founding father to do so. Next week, we will discuss the life of Martha Washington. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.